Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Quad here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a brand new video that honestly I didn't really expect to be making. Now if you guys can tell by the video, this is how I got a scuff controller completely free. Now I'm not trying to clickbait or anything, it's, that's obviously just what happened. So if you guys did not know, Scuff has done several giveaways in the past like few months or so. They have one where they're giving away a full trip and stuff of that. They give you a VIP experience, they're paying for your plane ticket from anywhere and your hotel. This is not what I won, but this is another giveaway that they're doing for COD Champs in Orlando. I am planning on possibly going there, I'm not completely sure, but that's irrelevant. They're doing that along with this giveaway that I won here, which is for a scuff controller. I don't even remember whether it was on Twitter or whether it was from MLG Anaheim, but either way, all I'm really gonna say with this is if you guys see a giveaway, even if you think that you don't have a chance of winning it, just go ahead and enter it, it can't hurt, and you never know, you might actually win it like I did with this. So, here we go, I have the box that it came in, it just actually shipped in. Um, I was on vacation from last Friday up until yesterday, which was Wednesday, and I was thinking about doing a stream last night, but I was a little bit too tired, so I might end up streaming tonight. I'm recording this on Thursday, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get up tonight or if you guys will be seeing this tomorrow on Friday. But anyways, let's just jump into this and open this up now. Now honestly I'm really surprised that it even came in this quick. Um, when I was on my trip I went over to Indianapolis with my dad and we visited my uncle some and I was over at the Brickyard 400 actually. That's a race at Indy Motor Speedway, the place has Indy 500 if you guys aren't aware of that. It's a NASCAR race. And I was just there as I got uh, mentioned in a tweet by Scuff saying that I won the controller. And I was just completely shocked and it just now arrived in the mail so it took uh, it took two days for the shipping, it was two day shipping, and so I guess they ended up getting to me, like, I guess they ended up getting the order filled out the day after, so that's like extremely fast that they got it also. So I just took it out of the like normal UPS box, and it's just another box right here. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys that, the Scuff Impact Professional Gaming Controller. This controller is really useful for a lot of different things. It has a lot of customization characteristics that you can have with it where you can change the paddles around. There's four different paddles. You can only use two if you want to use two, but you can also use all four. You can adjust the thumbsticks to different heights, just depending on how you want them to be. And for this one, I actually ended up getting a special version of the Scuff. You guys are going to be seeing it right here. Go ahead and show you guys that. Boom. Now, this controller looks absolutely amazing. This is the one when I was looking through all of them, I just knew I wanted to get this. It is the Optic Stealth for the Scuff Impact. Now, if you guys didn't know, there's the uh, Impact and the Infinity. And the Infinity is basically only having two paddles there, and the Impact has all four. And there are just a lot of different things that you can do with this. Like here you can see on the back, I have uh, some trigger extenders. There's this little tool here, which adjusts the height for the thumbsticks. I'll probably uh, look up how to do that and show that to you guys real quick here. But basically we have all this. We have the key here that can lock the trigger stops, which allows them to only go down a certain amount. So that way it like just makes it so that it's a lot quicker to be able to like have the trigger go down and then it stops and you don't like you know have it unnecessarily used and there's just so many different things about this controller that are really nice it has a nice military grade grip that they have on the back and i'll say right here i forgot to mention it at the beginning but i want to say that i'm only making this video because i won this giveaway and i happened to make videos i was not asked by scuff to do this i was not paid at all by this so just for full disclosure of that, I have not been paid or was not asked to do anything like this for Scuff. I just really want to share this with all my viewers because I know that you guys are all interested in this type of stuff since this is obviously within my realm of everything that I upload for my channel. And so now I'm going to go ahead and jump onto my PS4 and set this up real quick. Okay, so now I am back. I read the instructions a little bit. All you have to do is use this little key here. You just go in here. It's automatically set up to have the far right button be the circle button, the far left being the X, the second to the right one being triangle, and then the um, second to the left one, I'll just show you here, one being square. 
So that just shows you how it's set up there. But let's say that I want to change that, obviously. Um, I can go ahead and, for example, hold down the left paddle and then hold down the triangle key and then release the triangle key and then release the left paddle. And now that I take this away, it should be able to let me use the left paddle for triangle and there you go. It's really that simple. I'm going to look into like different setups that could possibly be working the best for this because I have absolutely no history using a scuff so I'm not sure which paddles will be the best for which features. So I'll look into that a little bit coming up in the future. Okay, now that I read through that a little bit more, I just needed to make sure that I clarified everything that's going on so that I gave you guys all the correct information. So with the paddles, you can just remove all of them really easily. You just basically move up there and then boom, you can take it off. It's perfectly fine. And then you just can go and place it back in there as such. Let me take a second to show you guys. Honestly, I'm just trying to be a little bit over caring, but these paddles do come off and like reattach really easily. Let's see if I can get that. Boom. And now it's back on. And you can also take this little key that they give you and it is able to be used to adjust the trigger stops, which you can have it to where it has to go down a little bit less or a little bit more, just based on whatever what your preference is there. Now, as you can see here, even though I have the trigger stop there, it still has it down enough to be able to change the character, which really helps a lot. And then otherwise, I'm not gonna remove them, but you can go ahead and interchange your thumbsticks. You can go on their website and get some longer thumbsticks or some dome thumbsticks and stuff like that. They have them available really cheap. And I'm sure you can also just get them along with your controller if you just go ahead and order them online. But that's definitely another really cool thing, and I'm pretty sure I might be able to use Control Freaks along on top of these. I just checked really quick. If you guys are curious at all, you are able to fit your Control Freaks on top of the thumbsticks if you like prefer your Control Freak thumbsticks more than just a normal thumbstick, which some people do, some people don't. Control Freaks have a little bit extra grip. But if you guys were curious about that, you are able to do that. And anyways, I think that'll be it for this video. That's basically everything about it. I'll probably be streaming some with this controller and everything else that I have gotten recently with my setup. So if you guys want to go check that out, it is at twitch.tv slash quadruple. That is quadruple with a W. And make sure that you guys follow me on there. I am going to be streaming a lot. I'm going to be trying to post videos to YouTube a lot more consistently too. And anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you want to see them as soon as they go up. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This has been Quad, and I'll see you guys later.